Hello guys and girls, I am back once again with a different type of video today. Um, I know a couple of you guys on the uh, comment section uh, have been kind of asking or wondering, uh, I'm sure many of you actually have been wondering, you know, hey, where are the uh, police patrols, where are the roleplay patrols, you know, stuff like that. And uh, I'm here, this is this is kind of why I'm making this video right here, it's uh, concerning that type of stuff and uh, clan information and stuff. So. Um, if you're wondering where it is, uh, please, or where they've been, please be sure to listen to this video because it explains it all. Um, so basically, I'll just go ahead and say it, uh, SAS, it's no longer a clan. Um, so, you know, that's that. Um, there's a couple of reasons why I did stop the clan. Uh, one of them were, uh, for the most part, uh, two certain people. I won't, I won't say their names um, because, I, I, you know, it's good for them, I guess. But, um, you know, those, those two certain people, they just kind of ruined the clan for the rest of us and uh, kind of pushed people to do things that they didn't want to do. And that kind of that kind of is what ended the clan in a way. Um, those two certain people, they were being very disrespectful to, uh, to me in particular and a couple of other people. And, uh, you know, me, I'm one of those people who gives a lot of second chances. And that was one of my main problems because... And, and one of them would have been gone way back in January um, if I hadn't given any second chances, if I would have just kicked them right then. Uh, at least one of the problem causers, anyway. And I gave him probably like five or six chances, and it just, it, uh, he didn't get any better. So I just finally decided to, um, you know, suspend him, demote him, all that. That didn't work. So uh, one day I just kicked him. There you go. And then, uh,. Well, actually, I kicked him a little bit after I kicked the uh, second guy. The second guy I'm talking about. Um, basically, I, I had gotten off the Xbox for a second, and I wouldn't go like use the bathroom or something. And I came back, and uh, this guy, who was a commissioner, I might add, um, he was yelling at a uh, recruit, which over something, I think he coughed in his mic or something. And uh, so then he starts just started yelling at him, cussing at him, all that stuff. And I'm not pitting up with that personally. Like I just don't think that you you know you don't do that, especially if I put enough trust in you for you to be a commissioner. You don't do that type of stuff because that's a big no no. So right then, right there, I demoted him, told him I'm not pitting up with that stuff. Yada yada yada, all that. And then uh, about two days later, we had this big revelation where uh, three of the members. Or two of them, really. I wouldn't, the third member was just kind of dragged into it, so I didn't really do anything about him. But uh, two of the members, they had gotten upset because they had been demoted because they had done bad stuff. But yet they couldn't get it through their thick skulls that they had done something bad, which is kind of unfortunate. But, um, you know, yelling at a member, that's bad. You know, cussing at him especially, that's super bad. Um, that's the name of a movie. It's a good movie. Um, but then the other member, I mean, I just don't know what his problem was. He never got the message, so that, that's him, apparently. Um, so basically, these people started to tell me that, you know, hey, you can't do this, yada, yada, yada. Well, yeah, I can, because it's, it's my clan. I, whatever I say goes, you know. If you don't want to be in the clan, you don't have to be here. And then I told those, the, uh, those two people in particular that there's no chance of them ever being um, above the rank of recruit again because they were, they were being that disrespectful. So there you go. I didn't really want to kick them quite yet because I still had a little bit of faith in them, but that was my fault as well. You know, can't fix stupid people. So there you go. So I gave them another chance again, yada, yada, yada. And then I got to thinking, you know, why am I really having to deal with this? You know, this is so stupid of me to even, even try to deal with this because it's something that can't really be fixed. So I go and I'm doing all that and then I tell the guy you know hey there's no chance of you being above a recruit again so I told him you know you might as well just leave so he leaves yada 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 alright there you go and then uh, two days later I kicked the other guy because I had just gotten into that mentality you know I'm really tired of dealing with this stupid stuff it's really wearing me down it's stressing me out so I went over there and as you can tell this is kind of a touchy su subject for me um, kinda you know but, I mean, it's something that y'all deserve to know. I mean, you know, y'all have what have been what's made my clan, you know, popular and stuff like that. So I do thank y'all for that. And um, so, you know, I gave I gave too many second chances, which is really a big problem with me. And, um, 
you know, and then the other person that kicked, he decided he got the big idea to go and start a new clan, a new uh, police clan. So then he he gets the nerve to start messaging everybody, you know, hey, uh, console gamer nineteen ninety eight, he's a big dick, yada yada yada. Uh, you know, you shouldn't be in his clan, yada yada yada, all that stupid stuff. And then he goes on and he's like, you know, hey, y'all should join my clan. People start leaving my clan, start joining his clan. And I gotta say, it is, I'm not really blaming those people because of the things. Like, I had this strong mentality, like, whatever me and that certain guy talked about, I never told anybody else. Like, especially whenever it concerned behavior. And the only thing I told him was that he got deranked. I didn't tell him, you know, he's a bad person, yada, 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 you know, all that. Because I do believe that anything that goes on within the clan, at least private stuff, remains private. You don't talk about it with another person. You know, especially if it's behavioral-wise or, you know, concerning the demotion, deranking, all that type of stuff. So that goes on, and then that's basically why we don't have a clan. That that guy, he got the nerve. There's only three members left, by the, or four members by the left. Um, I still have Justin, Big Black Santa. Um, still have Scott, um, U.S. Navy SEALs. Yeah, all those people, they're very trustworthy and loyal. I really, they're, they're, they're good people. So they're still left in the clan and one more recruit. Um, so I basically just transferred all those people to the new clan, which is where I get into the new clan stuff right here, where I start talking about that. Um, basically, the new clan is a new start for me because I needed one. I didn't want to have to deal with all the stupid stuff those people were bringing up. So I just ended SAS right there, and I'm starting a new clan. So it's, uh, it's called North Carolina Emergency Services after my home state. It's obviously a role-play clan, so we're not actually affiliated with the North Carolina you know emergency services any of that um but i do i do i'm a very big fan of the emergency services in north carolina and i figured you know what would it, it would be so cool to actually role play as um you know and kind of support my team a little bit um so yeah and um and the other guy uh, scott he's also from north carolina so that works out pretty well and you know it just it would be pretty cool so right now basically in about another week I'm gonna put up another video that will show you um, that it would be like a promotional video pretty much where you can go and apply on the website yada 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 all this all that and um, it's gonna be really cool so I mean the clan SAES is ended but the clan itself has not ended like it's still going on but there's only you know as I said four people in it, including me which you know isn't too bad but you can't really make a video from with having four people in your clan, it doesn't really work out all that well. So yeah, and as well, I'm re I'm rewriting um, policies, all that stuff, ranks, all that stuff's getting rewritten. Um, SAS was one of those clans that you just kind of learn from, I believe. At least that's what I've done from it. And um, so you know, that's that stuff's how it's gotten. I've gotten as a result of SAS, I've gotten very strict, um, zero tolerance for bullying now because I should have done that in the first place because that was one of the main problems of SAS and a lot of people on YouTube don't really know that because I didn't really share all that much about the insides of the clan so any of the drama any of that stuff that was just stupid of me to even deal with I should have just kicked a person right there which is definitely what I'm doing in the new clan but as I said new clan new start new beginning um, new video is going to be coming up pretty soon and, uh, you know, if you are still interested in joining, then be sure to join. And, you know, uh, right now I'm probably just going to put up a couple more Minecraft videos, you know, the usual. Maybe another Let's Build? I don't know. Um, you know, stuff like that until I get the clan back up and running. And then, you know, videos, videos, video, videos kind of make up for this lack of videos over this past month or so. So, yeah. Um, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. I'll answer them, okay? So, you know, just don't don't hate on anybody. Don't hate on anybody that's been kicked. Don't hate on anybody, you know. Just keep it clean down there or else you are getting banned from the channel. So, um, yeah. Alright, so I will talk to you guys in the next clan video thing. I don't know, maybe. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.